How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of V-Time, episode 86. We're getting really close to that 1OK, or 100, technically. <laughs> Dangerously close. Dangerously close. But we got a very interesting episode for you. Uh, basically, a promo week of reveals, as well as some more news of CarFightCon that's technically happening today. But we'll get to that at the end. Ain't that right? Oh, yep. Anyway, before we get started, if you're interested in getting any cards from TCG Player, please use our affiliate link down below. Your purchase through this link helps support the channel, so we can make more great videos straight to you guys. And with that scripted part of the way, let's go starting off with the promo weeks, leaks, whatever, English is hard. Link Joker first. Uh, Bile the Leader, your will. I, I think would, I said that right. I was wrong. You were wrong. I was so wrong. These are not starters. These are not, not starters. Mm -mm. Anyway, we thought the leaders would die, but we were wrong. And this card is very interesting in what it does, because it's honestly not too bad. Mm. So, continuous. Rearguard, if your opponent's Vanguard is deleted, when this card would be put into your drop zone by a card's ability, this card is regarded as three rearguards. Also, auto rearguard when it attacks, if this unit this unit gets 2k until the end of that battle. So not only does it, you know, help to hold the leader engine, but makes your given yeah. plays a lot cheaper. It's funny, if you have two of these in your hand, and mm -hmm. you ditch them, it's equivalently of discarding your drive check and just having restanding. If your bonus finger is deleted, when this card would be put into your drop zone. Yeah, put in drop zone means from hand or field. Yes. So it does uh, get regarded as three rear guards. So yeah, like you said, ditch two of these, that's a full given cost. So yeah, helps the deleter engine. Granted, as much as this does help, and we do have a grade one that can come back from drop zone after it's uh, retired, mm -hmm. I think the leader is still missing that extra oomph to make them decent, because they're still missing a couple pieces here and there. Also, this is a pretty good beater all the way, all around. It does generically get 2k, so it's always going to be a 10k. Not wrong, and your vanguard, your opponent's vanguard is deleted, so there's zero. So that's basically like gaining 12k extra power overall. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, it's the Gear Fox. I mean, Gear Puppy protecting memories. <laughs> Not a starter, even though it's a great zero. Yep, but makes up for it in the skills. So first skill is Continuous Bind Zone. This card gets grade plus four. Wait, what? Um, extra turns, I hear. Yeah. Auto, rear guard. At the end of the battle that it boosted, cost, bind this unit, and draw a card. So... It's like you didn't even play it in your deck. It's just you're running less cards in your deck because it replaces itself. No, no, yeah, replaces itself and you add four cards to your bind zone. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it gives you an excuse to take out Valkyrie on every deck. Mm -hmm. Gives you more targets for binding, and you already have that grade three that accelerated the whole bind mechanic before. So there might be potential here. Yeah, we don't know. Mystery for might be a viable deck now. Who knows? Hey, Mr. Timely, let us know if this changes anything. You're the expert here. <laughs> anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. Tuesday stream happened, and we didn't get any big reveals. We did get one card that finished fishing season in Bermuda, and I wish we got this card a little bit sooner because we recorded something using Highlander that this would have been amazing in, but that's here, no there. And the card we are talking about is Popple. Empathy Betty. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. Regardless, it's a great one that works amazingly with Highlander because Auto Vanguard Rigor, one place, reveal cards from the top of your deck. And if all of the normal units revealed have different card names, put up to one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck and put up to put a card, put up to one. Ah, if you put a card, put up to one of the reveal cards into your hand and shuffle your deck. So not only does this put your grade fours and grade threes that you want back in your deck for a reindeer, this can also fix your hand and give you any piece you want out of the top seven. Not only that, not only that, because of the way it's worded, you don't have to put the normal units. You put anything that was revealed. So even a reindeer that's regarded as a trigger unit for this effect can be put into your hand. A good, yeah, a good, really, good. Yeah, and it also helps you punch out pieces like uh, your Pearl Sisters. Hey. Because hey. you always have like one and you're really digging, it digs what, the top seven? Top seven, yeah. So yeah, you can help dig even faster for your pieces. And true, you don't get any, you don't get a, you don't get the exact card you want, like the grade three searches out your card. But you can get anything that includes triggers. So Basically, regardless of the situation, whenever you see it, it is a play it and let's see what we got. Yeah, it's a replace a card in your hand but it can get your PGs because it doesn't have to be a normal unit. You know what? You don't even have to put your grade threes and fours back in the deck. You can even put the triggers. 
can put anything back into your deck. Mm -hmm. Good card overall. Yeah. Sad we didn't get to use it. <laughs> eh, it's only like it's a one-up in your deck anyways. You're not wrong. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so, Nubatama, and it got, in my opinion, probably one of the better cards of these leaks. Uh, Stealth Beast Jado Cat. Uh, Continuous Soul, if you have a Vanguard with Magatsu in this mm. card name, this card gets grade plus two. It's a grade three in soul. Mm, that is great. That can matter a lot. Um, auto, rear guard at the end of the battle that it boosted if you have a Vanguard with Magatsu in this card name. Cost, put this unit into your soul. Choose any number of your normal units on rear guard and return them to your hand. So this satisfies both the soul requirements and the bounce requirements for Magatsu. So you can just play off immediately grade three. And it gives you some early game because if you have the Magatsu grade two or one, you can just throw this down and bounce everything. Ow, why? I don't know. It's oh, honestly, I can't say nothing about it. It's an amazing card. Like you said, it activates all of the Magatsu great restrictions of having a grade three in soul immediately when you ride it. Mm -hmm. Not to mention it replaces, and it doesn't really replace itself, but it puts itself easily in the soul. Another thing to mention, it activates any, because it counts as a grade three in soul, it activates any cost that needs to soul blast a grade three. So your uh, interceptor is your bird that makes your opponent its card cards. They're always active if you have a Magatsu Vanguard. Mm -hmm. Not only that, like, uh, Nubatama already had a grade two game where it bounced its field back. This guarantees it, because if you only have this and not other pieces, you have a Magatsu grade two, you swing at your field, you swing with this last as uh, boosted, and now your entire field goes back to your hand. Granted, it has to be normal units, but still. I mean, the funny part about this is, is you know, you have those card, like cards like bind your uh, Soul Blaster Grade 3, bind your drop zone, gets power, everything. Mm -hmm. You can activate it once, you have multiple of these in your, multiples of these in your soul. You can uh, balance it, call back new ones, and do it again. You gotta be at 5 damage, but it's viable. It is viable. So you get multi multiple multi-attack guard restrict. That's the thing. Um, I don't know how I feel about this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good card. <laughs> anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. We got some Pale Moon promos. Nightmare Doll Tosca. It's a great one, and it might be foreshadowing, or it might be helping the Nightmare Doll support we're going to see in clan selection. And its effect is Auto Vanguard Rigor. One place from hand. Look at five cards on top of your deck. Put up to one worker from among them into your soul and shuffle your deck. Simple, straightforward, might be really good. I'm not a Pill Moon player, so I got no clue. Man, you really do want those Worker Road Grade 2s, like, uh, I forgot her name, the one that works with Alice to call Alice out. I Maybe. mean, most of the deck is Worker Road, so because she can put anything. Not to mention the new cards we know are going to support the Worker Road Engine and Alice. Shut up. So, this might just put some of the key pieces into your soul that you might need. But until we see the clan selection support, we have no idea. Mm hmm. Anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. Ah, fun. You're clean. Ooh, Jesus. All right, so Venus Witch... Rappler? Uh, Rappler. Rappler. Whatever. Uh, grade 2. Auto. Rear guard. When placed, you may put a card from your drop zone into your soul. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Um, auto. Rear guard. Once per turn, when it attacks, uh, your, <laughs> if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, cause counterblast when... Choose one of your units, and until the end of the battle, this unit gets the power and critical that unit have gotten from trigger effects this turn. Had, not have. English, man. Yes. Regardless, same thing. Difference. Mm -mm -mm. Um, yeah, it's basically the grade three that Himiko keeps splashing into their deck, but they're the grade two. I mean, no. For that, like, less resources. Like, look at this. I already saw some people talking about this. You got Himiko, you activate Himiko, and you put all of Himiko's trigger effects activations on CEO. Mm -hmm. So you have a restanding ringer that's effing dangerous. Mm -hmm. Not only that, uh, if you have this in the second column, like you put all those effects on the rigor, the CEO does it twice, and then your last swing is probably this that copies everything the CEO got. So you got potential there. Yes. I'm more thinking of Valkyrion in this instance. Because look at it this way. You put a random grade one, grade two, whatever, in one column, and you put this in the second column, and you have your whole restanding setup. You have about, let's say, best case scenario, seven drive checks. You put all those power drive check triggers on that one rear guard, that thing swings, and then this swings last and gains the same amount of drive check power and critical. Ouch. I mean, CB management is going to be a problem, but I mean. Potential. The potential. You don't is have to CB if you don't need to. You can see the option, you can do it. So, yeah, it's a really good card. Mm, I'm scared of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm scared of Valkyrie overall, but still. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Friday's stream also wasn't big, just more promos. 
Um, interesting promos though. We got Few Scissor Angel. It's a, of course, Angel Fetter. Uh -huh. But auto rear guard when placed if your damage zone has a normal unit. Soul Blast one, put the top card of your deck into your damage zone and put a face up normal unit from your damage zone on the top of your deck. Okay, Angel Fetter players out there, help me out here. I am completely clueless with this card because I honestly think it's trash. I see no point in this card. There's only one point even then it's not a great point. And that's you're going in no seal just to get your grade zero on top. I mean, again, you have your grade zero in your damage. Why would you put it on top? The only, like, you put a normal unit on the top of your deck and you put a random card that you don't know on into your damage. Sure, you might be able to use no seal to put that then random card into your hand and guarantee you still have the no seals in your damage. But at the same time, you're like, mm, you're putting a normal unit on the top of your deck. You outside of no seal, and it's another soul blast. No seal doesn't want another soul blast. I mean, if you're really, really desperately in need of that grade three early game. I really don't think this is a good card. Like, it's not. Maybe I'm missing something, Angel Platter Pharaohs. Please <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, maybe it's for Malachi support when it comes out. Maybe. I have no clue. I am stumped. I honestly don't understand this card one bit. Hey. At least it looks like a promo we would have gotten normally. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> anyway, speaking of promos. Uh. Oh, so Tachikaze, you got a new grade one? I got mixed feelings about this. So Illuminating Dragon Parasalamp. 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 Lamp. <laughs> now you notice it. <laughs> Lamp means. Uh, anyway. Uh, auto rear guard, when place cost, rest this unit. Uh, put three cards from the top of your deck face down as an equip gauge for this unit. I have mixed feelings about this card. I really okay. do. So, mm, in my opinion, this changed slightly just for rereading this. It's a when placed, then rest. Yes. I thought it was just rest to do it. No. Oh, so you only get it once. Exactly. Mm. See what, what I mean? Mm. Like, there's options for, like, yes, you get three gauges. You have uh, units like the grade one that moves the, all gauges from one unit to another unit, mm -hmm. but then you have two rested units. Sure, you get angle blader. That's five gauges somewhere just from two cards. But that's, you know, having two cards and having angle. Like, there's so many loopholes to go through. There's also other cards that maybe you can place this down early game, have it have three gauges, and then use another grade one to gauge it one more time and give it 5k power for every gauge. So now we have a decent attacker or booster for angle blader. Like, there's multiple avenues you can go through. It's just there's a lot of other pieces you need for this card to actually be good. I mean, I, if you it, really want to... If you're playing uh, Gigarex for some reason, you could throw this down just to get three gauges for the requirement. Okay, Gigarex. Okay, Gigarex is not a bad option, honestly, not to think about it. Like, yeah, you got three gauges, you need two more, and you're already damaging your opponent somewhere. Or if you really want to, think about it this way. Uh, Gigarex is still going to gain, what, plus 15 just from it alone? What do you mean 15? He doesn't get power from every gauge? No, it gains power for every rear guard. Oh, never mind. So yeah. when it attacks, it can gauge any number, and then it gains 5k for every rear guard on the board. Ah, okay. Not yours, not your opponent's. Yeah. But still, you're not wrong on the whole the gauge. Like, figure this way. You throw two of these down. You gauge some more left and right. You uh, uh, get rid of 10 gauges. That's two damage right there. I don't know what this is for. Hmm? This is for those bad players that play Dark Rex. <laughs> and they root or... Hey, uh, now, don't, don't or hit, don't hit on my Hitachi homies. Is it, is it Death Rex or Dark Rex? Dark Rex. Yeah, you just want to get it from your grave to the board. Like, oh, here, here are my Tachi homies. Play this grade one, rest it, um, Dark Rex. That's your way to anyway, do it. Anyway, like all these promos, this needs testing. Maybe there's potential, but I'm always just ever so slightly skeptical. The, I mean, the first thing that popped in my mind whenever I saw this card, mm -hmm. oh, I have an excuse to play the grade three order that stands it and draws me a card. Like, if you play early and you throw this down and it has three gauges and you're prepping for whatever game, late game, Against opponents that are gonna go, oh look at that card with three gauges, pop it. You're not wrong. Like, it has potential, but at the same time, maybe the needs testing. Maybe I'm just looking at it with bad eyes. Collection volume, calling it. Hey, maybe, maybe that we get, we're getting a new unit. Maybe he's gonna restand if so, everything that has. A, I don't know. I don't care. We'll see. Anyway, that wraps up all the leaks and puts us in a weird awkward position because usually we do the. Triple sleeve spiel for all these cards, but with these being promos, we don't know if we're gonna get them in English. But hey, that's a good transition. Yeah. All right, so if you're interested in any of the cards we previously mentioned on previous V times or future cards that might come out, go check out Triple Sleeve TCG. They got great deals on singles, clan splits, and even cases, so check out the website in the description down below. Thank you. That's my part. Like that. <laughs> Man. Anyway, with the leaks out of the way, the only other news we really got to talk about is what's future and card So, 
For Tuesday stream, we know we are getting Spectral Duke and two other cars. <coughs> Great wrenching. It could be. Tuesday will finally confirm or deny the theory of either these new cards that we do have no idea about still are going to be support cards to the main units that we've seen, mm -hmm. or they're going to be separate singular units that just support other archetypes. And I'll tell you what, though. I, I have a feeling that it's still going to support archetypes because it's going to be so weird just to see all three gold paladin in different units in one day. So it's going to support that one main archetype, yes. Duke. I, I, I have a theory. I think it's going to be the Vordemir ride chain grade one and two. To go I can with see it, that. And it's just going to be Duke. We'll see. Regardless, it's going to be interesting because I wish, I hope that it's support cards, that the new cards are support cards for the reveal, uh, for the main cards. Mm -hmm. Just because Fromage needs some support. She, she, she on really her own, support. is not enough. Yeah. But at the same time, man, do you just giving Dauntless draft more cards. Dude, we'll cross that bridge when we get it. <laughs> anyway, Friday stream, we have confirmed Time Reaper Dragon. Just him? Yeah, just him. So that's the other thing, because this week has been very strange seeing nothing but promos get revealed. And of course, okay, sure, SP Bermudas and o OCRs got revealed, but who cares about those, am I right? <laughs> but regardless, point still stands. We don't know how next week's leaks are going to happen. And you made this point earlier. We've seen a Tachi promo that wasn't on the announcement last week we covered. Or an Angel. Or an Angel, yeah. So next week could be more promos. We could be seeing a, a promo for every clan. Yeah, which means, that, I mean, I'm okay with this because then they're delaying how many, because like, yeah. well, look at it this way. Whenever we finish the promos, there's a good chance they might start leaking for cards of the days, the support cards for some of these main grade threes we've seen on streams. Mm -hmm. And I think they're gonna save these main grade threes or fours for streams. So we got Spectral Duke and Time Reaper, maybe next week we're gonna see June Light and Chaos, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, and then the support cards throughout the week. I think that's how it's gonna go. Because we, otherwise, I don't think they're gonna drop something like, let's say, uh, Dudley, Lucifer on a Wednesday. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, just seeing promos throughout the week. A lot of cards we never get. Yeah, still up in the air. How pro like, we've talked about this multiple times before and we're gonna talk about it on the card by con, but Promos for Japan and from English are such a weird topic just because we don't know what we're getting and we don't know when we're getting, if we're getting. So anyway, with that out of the way, and as a nice segue, CarFlyCon! So, if everything went according to plan, editing-wise and upload-wise and everything, this video dropped at 10 a.m. It's probably 10.20 or something around there. And if everything goes according to plan, after you finish watching this video, Go check out CarFiCon. It's gonna be link in the description to the stream. Or regardless, at 11 a.m. CarFiCon starts. I need confirmation because I'm not 100% certain. I forgot. I, I think it's streaming somewhere, mm -hmm. and then after it streams, it's gonna be uploaded somewhere the full con, so the people who miss the stream and the panels can watch it. And speaking of panels, uh, boom! Here are all the panels: day one and day two. Uh, we're more focused on day two since that's where we are, but I still say go watch day one It's gonna be an amazing experience overall because I think they have solemn and uh, mm -hmm. Some other people from I got gotcha. you. Uh, I got gotcha. you some watch, other watch, watch. Aha. Ah, yeah, here you go. Yeah uh, do, 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 do. Solemn Kai Albert Commander Nomad Nine. and uh, Virip, I hope I'm saying that right team great lock I, there's a lot of good creators and it's a hell of a lot of fun and I can't wait to see some of these other panels because we only know about the panels we've been part of. Mm -hmm. And we've been a part of in day two, as you can see, Vanguards of Influence and also Carfi Vanguard New and Beyond. And I also want to point out one thing that we've been having some fun in the Discord and talking to the Carfi Con people and all that. We're not only a part of one of the longer panels, mm -hmm. but we're also part of one of the panels that closed the con. So we've been making jokes, and <laughs> this is very fun, how longer is better, and you gotta end on a high note. Hey, hey. <laughs> Why? <laughs> anyway, with the schedule here, I do go check out CarFacon. It starts in about half an hour-ish or so. I don't know how long we've been talking. It's gonna be an amazing time. Shout out to Winning Image and everybody else, Echo and Nara Samurai, everybody else that uh, was a part of this. Like it's an amazing experience. 
And uh, there's going to be a link in the description to wherever it's going to be streaming or uploaded. John, help me out. But yeah, go check it out. You got anything else to add? Mm -hmm. I think that's about it. Uh, there we go. We can end it on a high note. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching episode 86. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Share it with your friends. Comment down below what you think of the con or what you think of Duke or Time Reaper. Just comment something. Uh, other than that, if you like what we do, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell to get notified. Maybe even follow us on Facebook and join our Discord. But with that, I've been Phil. This is Alex. And we'll see you in the next one. Reel in your fishing reels. We're out of fishing season and into promo season. Jesus Christ, man. Could you just say bye? <sighs> Woo! Bye. All right, we're done. And I see you finally got dressed. <laughs> Influence. I'm never gonna let this go. Nope. <laughs>